Hello there, Homestead at Heart here. Um, today I wanted to do uh, kind of an update video on my last video of the apple cider vinegar that I made, that I made in my vintage butter churn crock. Um, I've been doing some reading and I read that a lot of the vintage crocks contain lead in the glaze and I wasn't aware of that. Well, this crock is really old. It was my great, great grandmother. So I know it's at least a hundred years old. Um, and it said the older ones are more common to contain lead. Um, the ones that were like mass produced in factories, they heat the glaze at a higher temperature and somehow it, the lead isn't as um, prevalent in those as it is in the older ones. So I started to worry after I made the apple cider vinegar. It wasn't finished yet, but um, and it said that if you ferment something in them, it's even worse because it's acidic, so it's leaching out the lead into your food. Now, this used as a butter churn, like my grandmother's used, I'm sure it was fine because it wasn't heated up, it wasn't in there that long. Um, it's mainly, from what I understand, the lead um, risk is more if it's heated or fermented. And the apple cider vinegar was definitely fermented. Um, I mean, staying in there for three weeks, then being strained, and then putting back in for another month. So I was going to keep it for cleaning purposes. I just decided to throw it away. Um, and I'm glad that I read that article because, or articles, there's a bunch of them. I, I was planning on doing sauerkraut in this in the summertime, so I'm glad. But here is what I got from Lowe's. It is a lead test kit. And this works on ceramic and all kinds of different surfaces. Painted wood, metal, vinyl, plastic, um, drywall, and plaster. And it comes with two of these swabs. And I already tested this and you break it like you push on it and break it in two places and then a liquid comes out and you have to dab it on a spot that the glaze is chipped so unfortunately if you have a crock that's in mint condition in order to test it you have to chip it somewhere which is not a good thing really but I mean you would want to know if it has lead this one has a little chip by the handle um, so I dabbed it on there and then I thought, well, maybe there's different glaze on the inside than there is on the outside. So there was a little teeny chip on the inside. So I dabbed it on there and then you dab it on this paper to check it. And sure enough, if it shows up red, it has lead. And I, this is the one that I tested the, the outside and this is the inside. So, and it lit up bright red instantly. So I know that fortunately this has lead. So I won't be fermenting anything in it. I mean, um, I'm just gonna use it for decoration and because it, you know, it's been in my family for so long. But um, I guess there's other dishes and certain things that have lead that they're finding out and stuff, but I, I was more concerned about this because I did want to do the sauerkraut and I will find something else to use to do my sauerkraut in because obviously you don't want to make yourself sick and I mean my grandmothers I don't their families never got sick from lead um, for making butter because like I said I think butter in it is okay just not um, just not fermenting or heating it up so well I hope that this may help you because I was shocked because I thought, well, mine probably won't have lead. And I was really surprised when I dabbed that on there and found out that it had lead. Um, but I hope this video does help somebody that is thinking about fermenting in an old vintage crock or has fermented in one. 
um, the lead test kit was like $10, so it was well worth it in my book um, to find out if what I'm using is safe um, for my food or not. Well, thank you so much for watching, and uh, if you like my video, please give me a thumbs up and possibly subscribe, and thank you for watching.